There's so much to dive into and so much we can celebrate. I want to have a celebratory conversation with you, West Side Gun. It's great to see you, man. What's going on? It's a pleasure. I'm finally here, man. Oh, man. Boop, 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 boop. We've been waiting, man. We've been waiting to have this conversation, um, and you've so delivered with this with this brand new album. Um, it's a beautiful collection of memories. Yes. I feel like it's a history lesson. I f- but also for you, I feel like every song will be f- way more special, not just because you made it, but because you got to live each song. And I feel like each song comes with an environment, with a time in the day, a moment, because everything was made with intention. Exactly. Exactly. It was just, I'm, it's just different energy right now with me, man. You see, I'm glowing right now. It's really? just like, really? just just where I'm at in life. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I made this whole album overseas. So yeah. it was just like... Why don't more people do that? Why don't more people just decide to go and pick five country or hop and just... Why not? Energy. You You've got like laptops and opportunities to take studios on the road with people. It's a pretty low cost environment now if you want to keep it that way. Yeah. Yeah. It just depends on how you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to go all out, I went all out. I'm not gonna hold you. That's why it just sound like that. Like it, it just, like that. You know it do I mean? sound that's, like that for that's, real. That's 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 you know staying at you know Bagari. That's staying at the Ritz. That's yeah. staying at the Waldorf. That's staying at the Four Seasons. But that's, that's the that's dream. Staying, yeah, that's you know? the dream. And and at the end of the day, right? No disrespect, because you know I've 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 not had money and I've had money. Yeah. And I understand the importance of having, but um, you know, it gets spent. <laughs> but what sure. doesn't get spent are the memories and the experiences and the chances you'll always remember what it was like to fire up the mic in that hotel room at three o'clock in the afternoon with a delicious glass of Pinot Noir in your hand <laughs> knowing you have something to say yeah nah for sure um, and that was just kind of like you know it was all intentional you know what I mean it was all by design I just wanted to do something different I did what I did for a decade like people might only heard of Griselda maybe the last couple years, but I've been doing this since 2012. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, you know, now where I'm at in life, just mature, just grown, just being a better man all the way around. You know, now I'm getting the, you know, the fashion show invites finally. And you I'm are sitting, now listening you know to an saying? audibly crafted garment. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> cloth I'm, talk. I'm, I'm just, I turned into super fly guy. You know what I'm saying? It's so, just, you know. So in order to do that, right, in order to get to a place where your creative spirit and your growth meet and understand one another, you have to be able to let some shit go. Mm-hmm. So what have you left behind as you enter this new phase of your life? What I, don't I, you care about anymore? Um, I feel like, and, and it's, you know, it's kind of, just look how, you know, depends on how you look at it, but I kind of left, like, a lot of the, you know, diehard Griselda boom bat fans mm. that felt, like, kind of like they disappointed in me. You know what I'm saying? Because... What the fuck are they talking about? Have they not heard course, this? Listen of, to this of course, track. I mean, this but, is the greatest, like, Griselda-esque shit ever. Listen, I get chill. I promise you, I just got chills when you oh, just dude, played that out of nowhere. the first time I heard my this, own I, song. I was with my kid in the car after this album came out. We put this on and everyone just shut up. <laughs> and my kid, who's 15, he won't mind me putting him on blast even though he hates it when I talk about him on my show. He was like, that's like the best beat I've ever heard. Yeah, <laughs> it's like crazy. It, but, but that's the thing. It's a selfish way of thinking. You see what I'm saying? Like you just, it's like you just want me for just mm. only what you want me for. You only love me for that. So you don't love me as West Side Gun the man. Mm. You just love me, you know what I'm saying? And and that's that's why it's like, if you don't love me as West Side Gun the man, why are, why are you a fan? Yeah. Because it's more to me than just, you know, me rapping on boom bap. You every, know what I'm saying? Every like, great artist has to be willing to make a disconnection to something that, yeah. that was initially attached to who they yeah. are. Has to be. But but I'm also doing it for the better. It's a bigger message and it's a point at the end of all of this. And, you know, we're just having fun and we're spreading art. And I feel like if you loved me those whole 10 years, I still gave you Mama's Prime Time oh just as an example. Like, it, it's not going nowhere. You could play, you know, uh, Fly Guy two times, or you could play Babylon Biss, or you could play Kitchen Lights. You can play, you know, Jalen Rose with, with Bodie. You can play Revenge of Flip's Leg with Rome Streets. Like, it's still, pl- it's more songs still for y'all better than 
everybody else album but out. We still get JD Riss <laughs> though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. for me, it, it, 1989. Th- this project just seemed, because ironic you talked about it, because it's more palatable than it, the average Griselda track. Not that that's bad. Like it's a mm-hmm. good thing. Like it just seemed like you expanded a little bit. And then mm-hmm. there was a there was an interlude you had in there when you was talking about, like, you know, you, my man was talking about like just getting fly and yeah. you know, it's like you listen to this and you just want better. And I, yeah. I you know, I'm bad with work with like remembering stuff verbatim, but it's something unlocked for me where I was mm-hmm. like, yo, this is really resonating. I'm driving around LA, mm-hmm. just feeling like, yo, I just want to get it listening because music has energy. And that's the mm-hmm. whole, that's the the whole energy of all y'all. And that's the energy of this album. It's like, I just want to, I don't know what that is, but whatever it is, I want to go <laughs> get it. Yeah, yeah. And shout and shout out to uh, you know, the guy, um, you know, who said that actually, uh, I seen that on Instagram like a week before the album dropped, and it hit me though. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the was last piece like, of the puzzle. You know, yeah, honestly, and mm-hmm. it was just like you know when he said like he listened to me every day because it's like it's like motivation, aspiration, and and uh, you know, just wanting to get fly and be a father and. You know, want to do better for yourself and yeah. want to live the right way, not go out here and want to just, you know, be devilish and, and, and live the wrong way. So it's like, you know, I really, um, you know, I really don't even do interviews and people don't really see mm. a lot of me. People have now like within like the last week, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, now I'm doing these interviews because I want to just spread a positive message, you know what I'm saying? And just like. You know, man, just just be yourself, man. You got to, it's more to the world, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, man, do better and, you know, try to show your kids the world. And, well, this is know. an interesting part about your story because Chris Elda is a family-driven life story. Mm-hmm. It is a life story. It's not just yeah. about the records or the, mu- or the music yeah. or anything. It's a life story. Your I mean, this is, it's a movie. <laughs> and, uh, and I think about the growth that you've been on Conway you know, Benny, everybody that you associate with what you've been on, the, the whole camp, the whole family operation kind of grew out of trauma. It grew out of like really tough situations and circumstances and, and an environment where it could have gone really, it could have gotten really, really bad. Yeah. And, and I wonder sort of how the music has helped you process those things to get to a place where you have distance and perspective and how important the, making the music has been to that growth. You know, making the music still now is just really just sending like I said, just the message, you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, we've been incarcerated, all of us, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Conway been, you know, the story that everybody mm, knows. Everyone like, knows, yeah. He's been shot. Benny been shot. We know that recently in Houston a couple years back. Like, even when we're, you know what I'm saying, Griselda, yeah. this is, you know, this is still what's going on. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, you try to escape it as much as you can because, again, you know, we move positive. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, that's why, like I said, you know, me just kind of just, it's more to the music. You know what I'm saying? It really is a message. And I'm trying to show people, uh, you know, just just growth, man. I'm, 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 this shows you an example of how people are in the box just from the comments that I'm reading, just from switching a beat. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just like that's really your man. like you well, loved me for ten it. years straight. Because it's not like but because I rapped on a trap beat that sounds like something from 05 Now you now you you you're not a fan anymore. Like when was you ever so what? All the contributions I've done to yeah, hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the loud minority you know? though, bro. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, the, that's the people yeah. that get on the internet that will do that. Most yeah. most people don't think like that, and it's important for all of us. This isn't just you thinking, the artist mm-hmm. thing. It's for all of us to realize, like, just because I see four or five comments, that's not the real temperature. Mm-hmm. That's those five, six people that decided they're angry enough that they're going to go ahead and put it on the internet. Mm-hmm. We all got to do a better ja- job of just like, canceling that noise out man. but you know what's crazy i stopped reading the comments now good you see what i'm saying you know sometimes i troll you know what i mean and, and, and talk trash you know what i mean every now and then because that's just me I'm, I'm i'm a funny guy naturally i'd never take it serious the internet is just that's an illusion mm-hmm. but you know sometimes i just like to spar with somebody that think they're funny because i just like to stay sharp you know what i mean it's it's not serious though yeah but um you know i really kind of like just stop reading the comments on this one because I did this one from the heart. I know what I did it for. I know the energy I was in. Yeah. Um, you can't expect me again, you know, to sound the same forever. And I want to explore. I feel like 
I'm one of those guys that can go pound for pound. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm a guy who can do a song, you know, curate a whole album with, you know, a ST Knack or Rome Streets or Bodie James or Makami. But then I could be nominated for a Grammy mm-hmm. with Free Nationals mm-hmm. and Mary J. Blige. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's just like I can be on Donda. I can be on Utopia. But I can still turn around and be on Babyface Ray album. I can still turn around the next week and be on DJ Premier single with Michael Mary. Yeah. And therefore, you know Griselda <laughs> achieved its mission, right? Mission For complete. Sure. For sure. Because, you, because what you did was you instilled the true essence of, of rap and rapping and the idea of telling your story mm-hmm. and the beats, which everyone became so addicted to, really were just a canvas to paint the picture on. Mm-hmm. And everyone kind of got it around the wrong way. No, we like the sonic design. It's like, no, no, no. The job is done. Yeah. You can go anywhere you want, as you just firmly established. And you do. I, dude, when, you, when I got to Costas, I was like, all right, <laughs> here we fucking go. Yeah. Here we yes. go. Yes. No yes. disappointment on the table from anyone I know. Yes. So he's yes. right. It's the loud minority. And and if this is your last album per se, and maybe we'll dive into that a bit because everyone gets super overwhelmed by <laughs> retirement talk. Um, to me, what I took that what from took, I took from that was I'm retiring from that, from what you are used to that rhythm and that momentum of releasing an album like that and another album like that with a different story but a similar feeling. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, that and that's how I feel now. Of I'm I'm just living. You know what I'm saying? If I want to make a song with Alchemist today, I can. If I want to make a song with Metro Boomin tomorrow, I can. Yeah. If I want to yeah. hit up Pierre, I can. If I want to hit up Sunny Digital, I can. But if I want to hit Pete Rock, I can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what I'm about to give you from now on. Amazing. And that's what I'm saying. It's not necessarily making whole albums. Yeah. I'm just about to give you actually more music. Yeah. Because it's like now when I cook it, I'm giving it to you. I'm giving you actually more West Side Gun because the energy I have right now, you 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 have to feel it. Yeah, you have to feel it. Wow, wow, it's in me right now, and I want to give the people this energy. You're you're gonna get a West Side Gun that you never seen before, and I've already did the impossible at least a hundred times. That's right. <laughs> so just the, imagine what I'm about to do now. The fact we've been having a conversation and you're increasing with increasing success and maintaining a balance with family. I love the fact that you're opening up about that side of your life. Yes. And that when you travel, it's a family affair, not just a professional experience. How did that influence the making of this record? I would imagine peace and calm were a part of the process. Yeah. Um, it definitely was was peace and calm um, because I was just living life. <clears throat> so if I just want to lay in the bed for two days, I could. You know what I'm saying? If I just want to go shopping, I could. If I just want to get Uber Eats, I could. But if I wanted to just say, you know what, tonight I want to get dressed super fly and just go get some Wagyu. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just like, just living with no, like, just... Man, for the first time in my career, probably in life, I was just at peace. You see what I'm saying? So that's why you have an album like this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's just like, it's all parts of me now. You know what I'm saying? This mm-hmm. is, this is. I feel like, you know, even though people, you know, some people don't like it, it's okay. But this is still me. It's not like I'm trying to be like, hey, let's talk about, you know, that I went to high school for a year and a half in Atlanta. So I've been dealing with Atlanta for a long time. My mom lived in Atlanta half my life, you know what I'm saying, either between Atlanta and Alabama. So I have a lot of, you, you know. You know how the city moves yeah, and how it breathes. Yeah. I, I, mm-hmm. You know, and we also have to understand, like, that's how I was hustling, when you know, during my hustling days, you know. Uh, everybody know the Griselda story. Like, you know, we really, you know, are authentic. So it's just like my route was buffalo to atlanta atlanta to, you know what i'm saying to buffalo and i was incarcerated i was incarcerated in atlanta so saturday i'm listening to dj drama gangster grill yeah. every saturday yeah you know what i'm saying in prison i'm sitting there can't wait i'm getting dressed just to listen to gangster grill you know what i'm saying it's just like that's a part of my life you know what i'm saying me coming home and i'm listening to you know uh because i was hustling during those 
Jeezy, T.I., when they first dropped. I was in Atlanta during those times. I remember the BMF days. I was Ooh. in the club seeing it with my own two eyes. Seeing the Tigers? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wasn't at the party. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Definitely seen them many times. Okay, I wasn't at right. that party. But, you know what I'm saying? It's just like that's a part of me that people forget and don't understand and realize because I push Buffalo so much. Yeah. Because for so long, you know, first of all, nobody's never made it from Buffalo it was, in the hip hop space. It was such a unique part of the story. You see what I'm saying? So it's just yeah. like, why would I be talking about Atlanta? Yeah, yeah. If I'm from Eastside Buffalo, I'm going to shove Buffalo down your throat every time I speak. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. my job. Yeah. But. I still have people in Atlanta like, yo, bro, you know, 03, 04, 05, oh, <laughs> woo, 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 woo. you know you, because, you know, I still have that in me as well. So I remember the Trap of Holy Mixtapes. Actually, you know, in every, I, before I was rhyming, you know, I was behind Conway, putting money behind him, just moving because, you know, I, I, I move like a, a CEO, a boss, just a, just a hustler by nat you know nature mm. so i was behind conway he was the rapper he always was always with the intention of getting your time once the business felt established yeah. once conway got his foot in the door yeah because yeah. I, I knew how to rap and i always was like the style you know what yeah. i'm saying but it, i didn't necessarily have to be you know jay-z or eminem or Nas or you know i wanted conway to be that but the first mixtape I ever invested into was a Trapaholic mixtape. Conway has a Trapaholic mixtape from 08. <laughs> it's all there. Called The Worst of Conway. It's all there. So it's just... Because it's a love so letter, idiot. It's, it's a love people, letter. There's so much history it's in this It's a love letter to your life. Don't know. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. a full circle. Yeah, Because we, we talked about this with Kanye when he came in here. Is like You guys have one of the, the most unconventional routes to success by a group that I can probably ever remember like you talked about it being from buffalo um the cut the style of rap that is was not supposed to be in style when you guys were coming up the the, the subject matter but you talk about having trapaholics on here you got dj drama on here everything about this has to be full circle for you like does this ever how surreal does your life feel when you really think about it at some points because this was not supposed to happen. i'm gonna be honest and I'm not just saying this because it's me. It's probably the greatest story in hip hop. Once people really like dig deep and really understand the story of us, because it starts all the way from the day we was born. Because we really family. So it, it started back from when our mothers was born, <laughs> when their mothers was born, because their sisters, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So this story go back of to how we got here is amazing because we didn't went through and and mind you you know like I say man we from east side buffalo we really never had nothing and you know our city really never had light shine on it but it's 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 a grimy city and there's nowhere to look to it's there's a, no yeah, there's no north it's, star it's, it's 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 a grimy city man and um so you know just the violence and uh you know, we're not young, so we lived through the crack era. We lived through the grimy 90s, the, you know, just, just all of those uh, different chapters of, like, hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was, like, because, again, we're not young. You know what I mean? A lot of these artists come up here, they was born in 2000. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, they don't really know. What, crack air. Yeah, like I remember coming home from school watching Run DMC, Salt and Pepper. I remember when Self Destruction video came out, <laughs> Same. BDP, and you know what I'm saying Same. when 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 Kumo D was was battling LL. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? I remember all of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just the like, A, the B, the C, the D, the E, the <laughs> yeah, F, the G. Like, yeah, yeah. I remember, you know, every part of hip hop. So it's just like, and I and I know a lot of stories in it. And I'm not just saying like, I just think I really feel like our story is like amazing. It's it's you know what's one of the many amazing chapters to your story is the fact that the success and the and the influence started to really permeate with maturity. You'd already, to your point, lived a life. And then it's like, okay, we should tell stories about that, tell our truth, but not from the point of view of over-embellishment as youth tends to do, not to try to be seen as youth tends to do. Like it says on the album, pray to be heard. So it really felt like there was a lot of depth in the music when you came out. And 
that would that you would you know on the precipice of a new era i think for for the music yeah. which is that maturity and the music and the culture and the community can continue to create essential shit mm-hmm. it Be- really wasn't like i mean it was a yeah. young person's game for a long time i felt like yeah for sure and um like really young you know the thing about me is it's like uh again you know spreading a positive message even though griselda had some of the grimiest lyrics you could think of in the last decade, the hardest beats you could think of in the last decade. It's never no fights at our show. You know what I'm saying? It's never no problems in the pop-up line. Everybody that come to a Griselda show or come support the pop-ups or just be at a Griselda event is always love. It's always positivity. Yeah. You see people wearing the, the, the merch, the shirts, the... It's like it's a community, it's, and, and, and that's the beautiful part about it because, you know, other people rhyming the violence and rhyming, you know, doing what they doing. You go to the show, look what's going on. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because that's the thing. It's like I came into it from the beginning with a pure heart. You know what I'm saying? I never came into a negative So the purpose, w- the purpose was redemption from the start. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Because the thing is, it's like, you know, um, you know, as men, and and I, we're we're not proud of our past. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not sitting up here saying I'm a saint. You know, I I, I hate telling the same story because everybody knows what's going on with us. And you don't have to. And and that's why I try to like, you know, preach the positivity now because at the end of the day, man, I got a lot of young homies that's gang banging. I got a lot of young homies that's still in the street. They don't ride. It's not like they make money off rap. They don't, they not clothing designers. You know what I'm saying? They still exactly where they at. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know, but they look at me like, yo, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like you that man, like, and I give them hope because I'm trying to, you know, show them early why they're only, you know, 19, 20, 21. You know what I'm saying? Like I got young homies right now. That's, 20 21 22 that's already trying to change their life mm. just from seeing me now already mm. at that age like mm. that that means a lot that means a lot you know what i'm saying because we didn't have that <laughs> you know what i'm saying we didn't have that my city never had that you know and you've taken it all over the world i mean you know you've and i want to talk about going back to paris because a different city than when you first went to paris and had that life-changing moment and pray for paris came from that um, it's funny, almost every conversation I have with, with an artist who has been influenced by, I mean, the conversation of Virgil always comes up. It must always come up because we must always speak to his legacy and how important his art is. But I want to ask you how Paris felt going back this time. Um, well, I actually went back before this time, um, and it didn't feel right. It, the first time I went back, it didn't feel right. You know what I'm saying? Because the last time I was there, <laughs> I was there because of V. Yeah. So it's different if you just going out to Fashion Week and you just having a good time, you all over the place. My purpose was going out there was for V. You know what I'm saying? I got invited by him. So it was different for me because this was my whole purpose of going. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. you know... um, just being, you know, front row at the off-white show, uh, next to Pop Smoke, next to Take Off is crazy. Rest in peace to both of those guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, just being front row at the off-white show and this, the song for the show is my song. Like, I had no clue. It was a surprise to me. So I was already off that high alone because I'm front row with all these celebrities. I just got to Paris yesterday the first time i left the country for the you know for the first time and my first time ever sitting at a fashion show i'm next to these guys and here comes your music and my song play is like it was Crazy. that was surreal you know what i'm saying yeah. like like this is amazing and then i'm what a gift as well what a gift yeah. what a gift offering somebody a surprise like that it's one thing to choose your music that's a mutual that's a sign of mutual respect Mm -hmm. the gift is to not tell you yeah that's just so generous nah it was it was it was crazy you know and just sit in front row at the louis you know the famous louis show with the clouds you know i mean you know his louis show just and just sit in front row at other shows and going to the parties and when he's you know i'm going to uh 
you know, the Louis after party, he DJing and he playing, you know, uh, tell Virgil right brick on my brick and the crowd already know it and they going crazy and I'm in Paris. So I'm like, <laughs> this is I just this is my first time leaving the country. So I'm I'm in a whole nother country, all the way in Paris. People don't even speak English. And when that part came on, tell Virgil Wright, they knew it word for word. I'm like Your eyes must Yo. have been like sources taking all this in, that, it, It's crazy. Like like just memories of that was crazy. And um that all of that energy gave you pray for Paris. You know what I'm saying? And um man, I was blessed to get the you know, the first cover. It was just like everything was just like surreal because this is somebody I respected, you know, since the Pyrex days. Like it wasn't like because everybody know I'm a fashion guy. You know what I'm saying? That's that's I've always been in the fashion my whole life. Um, you know, I tell the stories about how my aunt Michelle, I used to wear her hand me down Gucci frames and, you know, sneak a chain on the school. You know what I mean? From my uncle or something like I always just you know, wanted to be fly, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know, fast forward to just, you know, getting inspiration from Virgil with the Pyrex 23. And, you know, I gave him his flowers, you know, super early. Like I didn't wait, you know what I'm saying? I was giving him his, his flowers during Pyrex before Off-White even existed. That's so. one of the things that's, that, that remains so unique about the way that Virgil saw the arts and the world through the, the filter of the arts, right? Through the lens of the arts is that without a doubt, the people that he would invest in or with not just admire or be friends with, but really create a mutual investment environment were often not the pe the most obvious people to everybody else. He would recognize the diamond in the roughs, how you approached fashion. He would recognize how you approached your music. He would hear how your song would impact his show in a way that others would never have called it. He was so perfectly skewed in his taste to, to influence everybody else. Yeah, because he was retweeting my music all the way back since like 2016. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, with my Mr. T record, our Fly God album. Like, he was, he retweeted that one. Like, he been on, you know what I'm saying? Like, he put a lot of other people on. It, it's so many people that came up to me, like, Virgil put me on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Virgil put me on. Virgil, especially if they from Chicago, like yeah. the OGs. Yeah. You know, Virgil put me on. Virgil put me on. So it's just like, the, the, um, the, the love was just, it was very mutual. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah. you know, I wish we could have, uh, you know, done a lot more, but I think he left me with, like, the best gift he could possibly leave me with, and that's it. That's how you got it, and then you pray for me. Yeah. Because when I went to Fashion Week this time, his spirit was there. You see what I'm saying? It was a difference. Mm, I felt it on the—I definitely— I was in Paris a few weeks back, and uh, where I was staying was not far from his yard, you know, like, where a lot of things were set up, and, I mean, it's off-white next to the Alp and Louis Vuitton. It's all there, and— you just feel it. You see it. it, it it's it's and be, and the beautiful. The only real beautiful part of this is is that's that spirit's never going away. That's that's the thing. And you know, so seeing the art was moving. Yeah. He's too iconic. It's like you know what I'm saying. And it, you know, it's still so fresh. So, you know how it is. It's just like right now. It's the gris like people are not going to even give me my flowers yet. Because it's still, um, we're in real time. See, time is cruel you know like that. Time, time can be cruel <laughs> like that. And yeah. you have to have a real understanding of the journey in order to appreciate that your time will come and not be frustrated that it hasn't come yet. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm very patient. I'm very patient. But, you know, that's, that's what I mean by V. It's like 10 years from now, you know, V is going to be like super, super, super godly. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and just the, the, everything I've done in this game, I feel like five to 10 years from now, then people will be like, this resume is like, because I feel now I already have the best feature list and production list of all time in hip hop. The production list on this album is absolutely crazy. I mean, the people who show up and some of the tr the songs that are like, like Conductor's Beat is like uh, like uh, unreal. Rock, but the way Rizzo shows up and does it so eccentric, like he, uh, like he always does. <laughs> 
<laughs> like that must have been a real moment for you because it goes without saying that that era of, of 93 on from 36 Chambers to now, the impact that RZA continues to have, yeah. not just, and I was talking to Burner Boy about this, not just in terms of the sound and the, and the tempo, but the philosophy of it all. And again, like I said, this album is just, it's a history lesson, you know, period. It's just like, you know, I gave you all the times, you know, different regions, you know, um, just even Swamp Izzo, you know, being in the strip clubs at Blue Flame in Atlanta. I just remember vividly, and I still do. That's the thing. That's actually my favorite place to still go. Like, people still can see West Side Gun and Blue Flame at least once a month, for sure. Still, t <laughs> even today, modern day. I actually celebrated my album at Blue Flame. You know oh, what I'm Like, this is... You know, that's 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 like my office. You know what I mean? Shout out to Killer Mike, cause that's Killer Mike office too. My you know, my office I my all I moved my office right next door to his. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to Killer Mike, Shout you know. Out to Killer um, Mike. You know, Greg Street, you know, he DJ oh, in, in there as well yeah. with, with Swamp Izzo. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, you know, uh it's just different times. The the DJ I just the DJ holiday, you know, uh, you know, Gucci man mixtapes and just man it's, it's just a time that i wanted to mix in blend in there with like modern griselda with classic griselda some of those beats is just like jd wrist is just like a new sound of his own it's no don't even it have is, a sound like, it sound old though well like, it's, 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 it sounds like you found a tape in your drawer yeah. <laughs> and just imported it direct into the mastering process. Yeah. Shout out it's, to my son, Fly Guy Jr. He made that beat. I wanted man. to talk to you about that, actually. I love yeah. that credit. And uh, I assume that was what was what it was and what, it, what it's become. Um, it's different when family does it, huh? Mm -hmm. It's just different. I mean... It's different it's, when your it's, kids it's, get it's, involved. It's, it's a, you know, I'm a proud father. You know what I'm saying? I'm a proud father, man. I'm not going to lie, I wanted him to get a modeling, you know what I'm saying? Because I just feel like, you know, he looked like a young me, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Ever since we started hanging in Paris, I'm like, hey, son, you can do this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my father's dream was that one day I'd become a supermodel, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's tight. No, for real, like, I promise, like, I wanted him to, I still do. Yeah. Because even though, he, you know, he's doing production right now, that don't stop him from, you know, walking the runway. You know, at all. So that's a great um, hybrid, actually. Yeah, yeah that's, for a, sure. that's a that's a fly, sure. He fly yeah. with it too with his pop stuff. He just sure. he, he throw it on. No, that's for like our junior. Yeah, yeah okay. no, for sure, for right, sure, right. for sure. You know what I'm saying? You you gotta understand. I buy it. I know how fly he is. <laughs> 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 You know what I'm saying? We know them receipts. <laughs> yeah, I, trust me. I know how fly he is. I, as soon as I go up, I be thinking I'm slick going up to Saks. And, yeah, you know, I got to be here and I got to be there. I got to be here. It's so funny, I man. I get to that counter, I see about two, three other pieces. Like, oh, what's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and your son. <laughs> he's putting it at the bottom. Oh, for sure. He, yeah. He's slipping it in every time. Yeah. You know, it's funny. We got I got two I got two boys and, and one of them is is... And to, he's, he's fly guy as well. He's yeah. very into the high end. Yeah. Got to touch the fabrics. Got to feel right. It's got to wear right. You know, the weight you know, has you know, to you know, be right. You're not lying. True story, right? <laughs> so one day I'm at the mall, my lady at the time, and I'm I go, I go into the Gucci store, right? And I'm like looking, and like you can't tell today, but I can throw it on. Yeah, he throws it and, on. And I'm like, all right, cool. Let's, you know. All of a sudden, I look over to my right. <laughs> there goes Zane with his kid in the Gucci store with me. I was like, yo, Zane, what's happening? Dead yeah. ass. Right, but it's funny yeah. because you know this, right? Obviously, we, you know, we're of a generation where it's hard not to want your kids to be happy. It's hard. For sure. So some people might consider it at times it's a spoiled environment. For me, what's really interesting is, is they grow up and they grow older. You, it's, it, it's, you spoil them when they don't know what they're getting. Yeah. When they actually are drawn to it and like the feel of it and it can be justified through hard work or they earn it, then I'm like, yeah, look, if that's what you love, if you yeah. love to touch the fabric and you love the weight of it on your shoulders, then you're going this way. This mm -hmm. is what you're interested in. His brother... Jet rag, one dollar shops, thrift shopping <laughs> every day, searching for the things in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, 
it's 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 like that though. You know what I mean? Sometimes siblings just be total opposite. You know what I'm saying? You sometimes you got the the one that's just out there and want to party and be seen and the cool kid, and then the other one just want to play games in the room and chill. Well, and, let me ask you this you know what thing: what what is the what what do you think? What in your mind with self awareness at this point in your life? What is the sort of most distinctive difference between you and Conway? Um. I mean, I'm addicted to wrestling. You know what I'm saying? He 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 get fly too. He not me though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He get fly. You know what I mean? I give him his points for being fly. I'm not saying he not a bum. He spent a lot of money on 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 wardrobe, but you know he know what's up. Just like I'm gonna give him his flowers on being the best MC I ever heard in my life. He gonna say this is the flyest guy he ever seen in his life. You is, know he, what I mean? is he quiet compared to you? Is he more? Th- is he more sort of um, thoughtful compared to you? Because you strike me as a pretty charismatic, gregarious cat. Even as a kid, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. I'd imagine when you walk in the room, it's like, all right, well, he's, yeah, he's here. Yeah, no, nah, you know, when I come in the room, it's over. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, Conway super funny too. Yeah, super funny. Yeah, he's you funny. Know what I'm we had a good time. Yeah, yeah, you know, you just gotta know him. You know what I'm saying? Warm dude too, like. Yeah, I think I think because just you know he he has that that just that natural just mean look. Yeah. But when you know him, it's like <laughs> you gonna love him. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, he did that with us. It was like all yeah, love. Yeah. Now you, you, you gonna you gonna love him. You know what I'm saying? Conway like that. But mm. yeah, that's that's really it. I think um more just my flyness a little bit because the way I you know my like. My priorities was a little different from him when it come to that. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, you know, I collect art. You know what I'm saying? I'm more like an artsy guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, he 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 more of like the the street guy MC. You know what I'm saying? Like like the street guy God MC. Mm-hmm. I'm like the street guy artsy guy. Right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. <laughs> it's like like God yeah, I collect. It's like we're we're both still street. Yeah. But it's like. Where where he went to being strong at emceeing, you know, I was more into the arts. You know what I'm saying? More into just, you know, uh, because that's why I'm big in curation. Yeah. It's not about me even being the best MC even on my own album. But you know what's interesting <laughs> you know what though, saying? bro, is that is that is that putting the distinction of who of, of how people perform and 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 what their approach to their craft is. You have one of the most recognizable voices, yeah, in rap history. Yeah, I mean. Th- how do you <laughs> because you seem like a guy who's going to be very calm and very generous to people mm-hmm. if they're fans of yours and it comes from a genuine place but mm-hmm. but are there times when kids come up to you and just go whoa 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 and you're just like oh my god like hate it <laughs> <laughs> no everyone's resisting that when they see you right <laughs> hate it <laughs> you know what I'm saying nah nah for real for real um a lot of people just come up with me, you know, come up to me just kind of just showing love. They really don't do that often. Yeah. Um. Yeah. A lot of people at the end of the conversation after they warmed up. And, they might just throw and in the good. They'd be like, yo, man, you don't mind if I, you know what I mean? Or something <laughs> like that. And, it, you know, it's kind of like, no, nah, it's a cool moment. Yeah. And it's all love. You know what I mean? You know. It just depends on the mood I'm in, cause I, I watch a lot of the uh, the meme joints where they the one dude that that ordered the food with my voice, and he, <laughs> oh, that's, I yeah, make, make that. double or whatever he say. No, I hate, I hate that. that. I hate that one. I hate that one. It was kind of funny, dog. He failed you a little bit. He did that too. that went that went super viral. It did. It did. That went super viral. That actually got me lit. I ain't gonna like shout, shout out to him for making me lit, but I hated it. You know what I'm saying? I it, I actually. You know, um, I think like, cause it, it came out a while ago. When it mm, first yeah. came out, I was pissed. Yeah, you know what I mean? Cause it's like, you know, I I, I do this for real, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I'm the like I'm the one that's like really in this neck deep, like man, going hard. Just not only for just you know the underground community, but just. You know, for hip hop in general, just yeah. as a whole, you know yeah. what I'm saying, and um, I just don't feel like people mocking me, like, cause it's like, 
I'm too serious for the mocking. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I gotta. Yeah. But then I also understand like you gotta. That's what I mean. That came out over a year ago. That was the old West Side Gun. Like the new West Side Gun is even mature from even then. But you also where know now I can accept it and be like, you know what? It's all love. He's actually doing that. He's doing that because he loves yeah. you. It's actually that's actually love. Yes. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like I understand and that's why not it could even rub you the wrong love. way. Yeah, but yeah, it's, yeah. But, it, but it's it's a genuine moment yeah. where it's like. Like you don't take the time to be to be to to try to imitate someone on that nature and and leverage yourself because that's all they're trying to do is they're yeah. trying to get people to notice them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. they but they got it but they got it's got to come from a place of love. Yeah, yeah. nah, for real. It's, it, yeah, him and the SpongeBob guy. <laughs> Whoever made that SpongeBob, I wanted I wanted to wanted to choke you when I seen him, man. You know what I'm saying? But now nah, shout out to both of them. It's all love. I know it's love. Um, like I said, man, they, they got me lit, man. And it's funny because, you know, Pootie 10 years old. Mm -hmm. So all her friends even see, you know, they, they typing in West Side Gun on TikTok now and seeing all the people, you know, having fun with it. I, I feel like just people having fun. And man, you know, like I said, I can't, I can't preach positivity, but then be mad at something like that. Like, come on now, man. We, we are here to have fun. And it's, it's nothing hiring for. Well, because you know mission accomplished. Yeah, for sure. When, when you put on Costas and there you are, the three of you again yeah. on something that people don't associate the three yeah. of you on. Yeah. But the but the tension is still there. Yeah. The yeah. menace is still there. Yeah. You're still drawn into the movie because I've always felt you guys make movies mm -hmm. just telling real stories over, but at their movies. Yeah. And it's like, I feel like that's, it's all just growth. Yeah. It's all just like, you know yeah. what? Yeah, I held on real tight to my voice and my identity before, but yeah, yeah. I'm somewhere. Yeah. I'm in Greece now. I'm somewhere else. Yeah, and 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 also, uh, I'm not gonna hold you, man. It's 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 so beautiful to hear us three together. Um, you know, on a Take Keith record because you know that was the you know that was designed by me. Of course, we could have did it on anybody. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah, 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 yeah. But it was just like. I just wanted to do something different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Point I Point made, to, bro. Point made. Ah, uh, man. Thank you. And um, I, I just feel like the energy is back. You know, uh, just recently, Conway had a show in Atlanta a couple weeks ago. Um, Actually, the week uh, the album came out, you know, right before the album came out. Uh, and all three of us was on the stage together. And it was just like, man, you know, Benny had just gave me the plaque for... uh. Johnny P's caddy in the, in the parking lot right before I went on stage. And, you know, that was just a, a, a great moment. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think the energy is there just for, you know, 24 for us to get back and do something. I was going to say, saying? surely this album and the fact that you've, you've, you've broken away from anyone else's idea of your identity as crew actually frees you up to come back and, and look at what the future feels like as the three of you. Yeah. Because, see, the good thing about it is, like, you know, uh, Conway, you know, went off and became a boss and started drum work. And, you know, he matured as a man and, you know, as as a boss and as an MC and as a, you know, as a father. Just everything as well. Um, same way with Benny, with BSF. And he's a boss and a crew. And, you know, he's a father. He's a, he's a better man. And... You know, I, I have Griselda, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, um, I feel now, you know, just us getting back together to do something now is going to be even way crazier, crazier than it was before. You know I, what I'm saying? I, I've been calling it. Main yeah, you be, yeah, yeah. I've been calling it main stage, mm -hmm. like right up the top. Yeah. Yeah. Like bring it together, <laughs> yeah, and and celebrate the legacy. I think everyone's waiting for a moment that yeah. really, finally, establishes the last decade of quality and consistency. Yeah, um, and as a celebration, and and then the perception changes from that point on. When you get back together, it's like Avengers. Yeah, and I and I can also say this because I've been there since the beginning, and everybody know like I'm a I'm a I'm the curator's curator. You see what I'm saying? Um, when it comes to production, my ear taste is taste <laughs> top three ever. <laughs> taste and I don't and sure. I really want to say number one. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just you know being humble. But bro, what I would do for this next album? Mm. 
and I know what Conway could do, and I know what Benny could do, it's gonna be like, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. For sure, for sure. Because I can purposely give you the illest thing you ever heard in your yeah, life, yeah, purposely. Yeah, yeah, well, because you're all, you know yeah, 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 because you're all like, you know. Now I want to. Mastery you level. You know what I'm saying? Bro, like, the more you talk, the more I start realizing that you guys are truly living the American dream. And, and I mean that not. Thank you. I think what we think the American dream is is individual success. Like, that's what we want. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's part of American capitalism. It's like, I want to eat. I want it for me. Mm-hmm. And then the people around you can maybe get a, a trickle down or a piece mm-hmm. of it. But it's a different thing when your family gets to be successful with you. Yeah. And then that can kind of spiral off and spider web into its own things. Like, it's not yeah. just my success. It's our success. And, sure. and by proxy, other people becoming successful because of it. Yeah. Like, you guys are truly living the American dream right now. Yeah. You know, just just from me, you have to think like, you know, uh, Rome streets, you know what I'm saying, doing this one, two. And these is people that was already super dope. But, you know, when we link together, it's just like, there's no turning back now. That that it's like, it's like the Griselda pricking the finger. It's mm-hmm. like you, you transform mm-hmm. into, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because, you know, it, it's just a different vibe. You know what I'm saying? Even what, what you're doing with Stove God yeah. on this record, the way the yeah. Stove God comes out, and vocally is uh, his yeah. performance off the backboard every time. The hooks, man, the yeah. choruses, the melody lines, and like, that's all by design. You're the Incredible. co-star, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. all by yeah. design, and that's what I mean. Who West Side Gun is, who who I am to the culture, who I am to the game. You know, um, I've been doing this since day one. That's that's why you have, you know, people like my commies and Conways and Bennies. You know what I'm saying, and 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 you know. Armani Caesar and you know just just different people because I always wanted them to shine even more than me I just wanted to do my part you know what I'm saying my part is just the curation I, I'm not you know I'm not making the rhyme for you but I, I also know I have the best ear in the game I also know I have the best approach in the, I have the actual playbook you know what I'm saying like I have the playbook and it's like it, it's just who I pick and choose to want to share the playbook with you know what i mean and i and i pick and choose to give it to family or people i actually know like yo this person is 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 good but if we link together they could be great you speaking know of saying? which man that i mean hearing you and ross on a track yeah finally yeah was a special moment because he's another director another movie director yeah Someone yeah. who, who who paints these pictures and sets these scenes mm-hmm. and just can do so much with so few words. Yeah, you know, even his opening line, Opulence. the way he just describes, yeah, <laughs> the way he just describes yeah. what he's wearing yeah. in just a short list, and you know exactly where he is, what yeah. time of day it is, what's going through his mind. How was that experience? Because I know you guys have admired each other for a long time. Well, let me let me just say Ross is in that three, as well with the ear. You I'm not gonna saying? lie to you. He's always when said you this. said you said that I was like Ross is up there, but I didn't want I didn't want to step yeah, on anything. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, talk yeah. about this all the time about Ross's taste in particular Bruh, and, uh, and yeah. beats. Like no, it's high level. It's high level. It's a superpower. Um, I actually just sent me something two days ago. I'm about to try to record it today. Outstanding. This yeah. is the new era. Yeah, because you can. We already, Cause you can. We already back to yeah. about to swing swing on them again. Are you yeah. about to be on the Meek out? Are you about to be on the Ross and Meek out? Is that what you're saying? Um, I, I'm not sure. He sent it okay, to me. All right. But whatever he want to put it on, it don't matter because we're here to push the culture. Yeah. So I'm just thankful. That's the thing. That's what we're here to do now. You know what I'm saying? Um. I, I just, I respect that man. You know what I'm saying? I, I've always respected him. I thought even from being in the South, because, you know, we all students of the game. Like I said, I've been here since the beginning. You know what I'm saying? And um, f- especially being from the South in Miami, how Ross always approached a record, sp- being from Miami. Like, let's not forget at that time, there was nobody, especially from the South, that approached it the way he did. Because even when... You know, T.I. was out and Jeezy was out. They didn't approach it like Ross. Ross approached it with more style, like more lyrical, you know what I mean? You know, capabilities with it. Just like, and it, 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 was like he was, it was like he was from New York. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's how he approached it. Like, like he studied like the East Coast MCs, like the greats. 
and was just like put him in a blender and just put his own twist to it mixed with the trap because that's the thing he was talking about the same trap content that T.I. and, you know, Jeezy was rapping about, but he put the New York twist on it, and it made Ross just... I just love the way... Ross, I just love the, I just love the way he creates space to accentuate yeah. certain words and certain yeah. little moments in the story, the way he'll go, case. <laughs> and, and just give himself the space to do it, and all of yeah. a sudden, like, you look forward to that singular moment. He knows that the detail, yeah. every bit of detail, and take nothing away from everyone you've mentioned, because there is a, a, a strong history in that, in, in that state of telling unique life stories and over multiple tempos to mm -hmm. multiple beats per minute. Mm -hmm. um, but you're right, Ross, Ross to me was the one who understood the Miami Vice-ness of it. Yeah, he understood yeah. how to bring yeah, that to yeah, the music. Yeah. It's always existed out there. And he was yeah. like, I can do that. I can do the Scarface thing in a mm -hmm. big, big way. I, I had a homie that used to, his comparison was like, Jeezy is the dude that's in a car with you moving the work. He said, Ross makes music for like, the El Chapo cat. <laughs> That's it. That, like That's he's distributed. Like yeah. he's, he's he's up the, here yeah. with it. Yeah. And then another one of his super superpowers is he makes everybody better. Like some of my favorite Jay Z and Nas songs have yeah. Rick Ross on it, and yeah. you wouldn't think that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. He's a he's a curator. He's a curator. That's and and I respect him. And um, we we did a record before, but it was on DJ Drama on his album last year on mm. the Gangsta Grill mm. album, his mm. last album. Mm. Um. You know, we was on that together, and uh, but this time, you know, that 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 record was kind of more. It was kind of more like I'm not gonna say like a, a pop feel, but it wasn't um, what I would expect a West Side Gun Ross to sound. <laughs> Dunhill delivers you know <laughs> at the highest level. Um, you know, yeah. res respect to the song, I love it. I, everybody love it, and it was a true story. You listen to the lyrics. It's all a true story. Um, it, it came from the heart, you know what I mean? Uh, shout out to, you know, DJ Drama. Um, but I wanted to approach it where it was like Ross and his hustling Miami days. The raw, old Ross are just like when you first heard Ross, you know what I'm saying? And um, Because, of, of course, I could have put on a soul loop. Yeah. And guess what? He would have killed that too, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just... It was way, I didn't know how to approach it, but I'm just like, you know what, I want to just um, just give that nostalgic sound you know, to Ross, you know what I'm saying? And let people understand, like like I said, it was a history lesson. Yeah, and you brought, you and, I mean? and you brought that emotional resonance that he has in his voice sometimes when he raps. It's not just rhythmic. There's something, pain, there's a pain in there. There's a sense of longing or yearning or unresolved fucking ambition or something. It's like something's behind me. There's, just, there's a little tension in what he does in, in, his, in his own way. I, I got to talk about Kitchen Lights because in and amongst the comments that you saw, all I saw was positive comments. That's what my timeline was there for. <laughs> and a lot of people focusing on Kitchen Lights because they felt like word had got out there. This will be your final album. You've, you've put that into context. Now we know that the creativity continues. Uh, the art continues. Um, but people really were zeroing in on Kitchen Lights because they felt like this was its position in the album in the middle, into side one, that this was kind of an important closure moment. It felt very impactful. It feels very impactful. I think Catch Your Lights is the song that he hear. You know what I'm saying? I really do. Like, that song is special. Um, when I heard the beat, it was actually the last song I made on the album. <laughs> you wow. know what I'm saying? I made it in London. Imagine if you hadn't shown up for work that day. <laughs> yeah, the We album, wouldn't have got it. The album was already done. Wow. You see what I mean? That's how I know that song is special. Because technically, it wasn't even supposed to be on the album. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, I approached it just, it like the beat just spoke to me. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, it was just real personal. You know what I'm saying? And um, I got every, I got the whole making of that song on camera too. I'm going to have to show that one day. Like literally from when I heard the beat to when I wrote the song to when I actually made the song in the booth. I actually have all of that on footage. Because you knew. I just knew. You knew what you yeah. were you were making history in that moment. Yeah, it, it was it was it was a crazy feeling, I promise you. And um It's an emotional one to listen to, I think, for people who have been sort of really invested in the Griselda story because it does yeah. feel like the end of that movie yeah. like 
series. Do you know what I mean? Like the film, yeah. like the end of the yeah. Godfather Three or something. It feels like, man, what, you know, what would be the music you would play at the very end of that? Well, the credits roll. How a lot of people this? saying they're crying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. People are emotional a lot of, about it. A lot it. of people saying that, you know, like I said, you know, I, I don't, I'm not all all in the comments, but from what, yeah. like you said, from what you're seeing, yeah, you know, a lot of people saying that they're crying when they hear it, and that's how I know it's special. Like, I, like that's one of the ones like where I want to go on like a. A uh, uh, Jimmy Fallon with the 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 orchestra and with totally, the, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, see it through. Saturday Night Live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me and Stove God. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's the why not? That's what I'm talking about for the culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's what that's what need to happen. Things like that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the thing. The, 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 the opulence of the sound. People got caught up thinking it was all this dusty sort of sampling and soul samples, but that's an opulent record. Of course. That's the history. cover, that's history. The like, cover is opulent art. Yeah. It is beautiful, <laughs> yeah. high end yeah. art. Yeah, Renaissance level shit. Yeah. It only been out five days. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But this song is a hip hop classic. Yeah, like we're living. That's what I'm saying. It's not even out yeah, one week. That. You know what I'm saying? Five years from now, people are gonna be playing Kitchen Lights. Ten years from now, people are gonna be playing Kitchen Lights. It's on life's the playlist. The video is not even out yeah. yet. Like. Kitchen Lights is still about to get legs. So when are you, you know going to do the video? Is it done? No, I want to actually do it because, you know, I've just been on my press run and yeah. moving and shaking. And we appreciate it. I feel like, you know, once I'm, you know, because uh, it's L.A. Fashion Week, too. So I want to go around, you know, L.A. trying to get their fashion week going. Yeah. So I want to be on the scene and, you know, just support, you know what I'm saying, some of the up and coming uh, mm. designers and just, you know, show love to the community. Um because I'm an up and coming designer, so I, I want I want to show That's where I want to go. That's yeah. how that's how I want this conversation to pause, yeah. and hopefully we get a chance to talk again. Because we've waited long enough for one, let's do two sometime. But for me, I know that it's more than just music. You've always, as you've said, had taste in in, in multiple areas. Um, so we're going to start at the one that everyone knows about, and then we're going to go through a few more. But but from a fashion point of view. Um, where is your spirit right now? What are you focused on, and what is inspiring you? What do you want to do with that inspiration? Um. Well, honestly, me just traveling the way I've been traveling is the inspiration, just being around different cultures, like I'm learning. You see what I'm saying? I'm a student. So it's so much for me to learn. Like, I'm still, I look at it as like, you know, I'm very successful when it comes to, to my merch business. And I'm like a merch king, damn near. You know what I'm saying? Like, and people respect that. But it's it's so much more to it. With, like you was talking about the fabrics and you know, just different countries that, you know, uh, just, you know, produce different things. And, and But I've been going to these countries. I've been learning and I've been, you know, meeting different designers and rubbing elbows and going to different parties and experimenting, making new things myself. And just because um, even just upgrading from because I printed on Champion forever. Like that was like my thing. You know what I mean? And actually I got that from Virgil. You know what I'm saying? With Pyrex. When he left Pyrex and, and started doing off white and, and and that champion Vegas just Vegas he was just there. I said <laughs> 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 But I told him that. You know what I'm saying? I gave him his flowers because I told him how much an inspiration he was to me. That I actually took the champion idea from him. You see what I'm saying? Um the Pyrex 23, when I put the Griselda uh, 187 in the back, is from the Pyrex. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I mean. It's like the conversations me and V had was different. That's why I think, like, he's seen the difference of me. That's he, This kid from Eastside Buffalo is something different about him. Not only that, he been with me since day one in this shit. You know what I mean? Can I say shit? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, do your thing. <laughs> yeah. You good? <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so that's what I think he's seen different. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I, just, I, just, I, I want to bless this kid. Like, I see it in him. He hungry. He's just like me. He just probably didn't have the opportunity. So let me help him out as much as I could. I just never felt territorial. I never felt like my ideas, my ideas, and don't take my shit. It's like, if you want to add to my shit, add to my shit. It's yeah. all additive. It's yeah. all additive. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And people... You know that that's what we're here for to um to be innovators, man, and uh you know lead by example. That's what leaders do. You know what I mean? And you know, people come to me all the time. Like, 
you know, such and such stole this from you. Uh, uh, such and such stole this from you. Or you've seen such and such did, mm. you know what I mean? Mm. But it's just like, yo, that's what I do it for. And remember, like I said, how I used to be mad at, like, the SpongeBob yeah, yeah, memes yeah, yeah, and all yeah, of yeah. that. Like, maybe before, I used to be like, man, he biting. Well, because you, yeah. you haven't got ah. yours yet either. Yeah, yeah. Right? But now, like, the space I'm in now was like, we here now, baby. This is what we doing it for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is what we doing it for. Hearing Conductor production on Tyler album and the one, you know, a, a Grammy to hearing him on a single with Drake mm -hmm. is like... We here, baby. You know what I'm saying? We made it. We, yeah, the we, tide rises. We here. Now I'm doing this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like the time is now. Now yeah. it's time to spread the message. Now it's time to push the art. Now it's time to push the culture. Why people paying attention? Because it's about to be a shift. If you know me, you know when I travel and, and do interviews or, or move around for work or whatever, then um, I'm, I'm always searching for the places to eat. I like food. Yeah. <laughs> I know you do as well. For sure. I know it's about recommendation and it's about experimentation. And it's about going back and revisiting places and understanding and mm -hmm. getting a trust within the, 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 you know, oh, you like it here? Well, you should go over there and check that out. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I wonder about like, as you continue to explore your passions, because that is what you seem like to me, somebody who I, I'm really passionate about that. So why can't I touch it and make it better? Yeah. yeah. So, so what about food? When are we going to see you like moving <laughs> in that space? Um, and we know, can even just know, talk crazy. about what you like, you nah, know. No, nah, it, it's crazy that you say that. Um, but you know, I actually have a a, a silent kind of like business venture with 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 a restaurant going on right now. But you know, we haven't really spoke on it mm -hmm. um yet publicly. Mm -hmm. But it's a hibachi restaurant. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. you know, because that's my favorite. You know what I mean? Right. So I just. It was actually my favorite restaurant, so I said, hey, um, nudged them, like, look, I wanted to open up one in Buffalo because we only have one, mm. you know, um, hibachi restaurant in Buffalo. And I had the opportunity to get a, uh, it went out of business ever since COVID, you know what I mean? And nobody really took over the space because it cost so much a month, but I had the opportunity. This is how I even got into it. Um, I had the opportunity to get the space. And I was just like, I don't know what I can do with this space. Like, it's too big. Mm. What, what restaurant I'm going to have? Everybody. You know, Buffalo is a food city. It's in the top 10 cities in, That's the, in right. the world. No, it's gone crazy. Geographic. Yeah, it's gone you crazy. It's gone like, crazy. Yeah. yeah, Buffalo food is amazing. Yeah, so no. I'm like, I'm not in a food business. What can I really do? But I had the opportunity to get this space. So it just made me think, like, you know, my city do love me. What would I do? Oh, damn, we need a hibachi restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Sick. And, um... I just went back to Atlanta and, and, and went to the restaurant like I always do when I'm home. That's my favorite restaurant. And I was just like, you ever thought about expanding? You know what I'm saying? And they was just like, nah, but, you know, we thinking about retiring soon. Like, we've been doing this for so long. We kind of want to just, you know, kind of get a little bag and kind of, you know, we getting older. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, because, the uh, that you know, the owner actually started with Benihana. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day. So he been doing this forever. So he was just like, you know, I'm I'm ready to kind of, you know, throw in the towel. And yeah. I'm like, hold on, I might got some, op you know, opportunities for us. You know what I'm saying? And um, I really didn't want to get that space anymore because it's, it's kind of, it's, it's just going to be too much. But, um, you know, we, we, we worked it out and everything worked out. So now we, that restaurant is still going. But now it's like I'm already trying to think of the future of, you know, different locations. It kind of, you know, the recipe is mine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got the, the recipe <laughs> mine now. You know what I'm Outstanding, so, man. You know, whenever the time is right, it's yeah. no rush because I'm already thinking about the future. So it, it's no rush. You know, I was still thinking like, should I let people know I'm behind it? That's why I'm really not saying the name yeah, yet because yeah. I'm like, you know, I might want to keep just the, you know, uh, the Japanese family just still the face. I might not want to, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, and also, what, Prefect what Saigon owns this yeah. hibachi restaurant. And it's also, not authentic. And also, <laughs> it's not that. It's just proof of concept, too. You need the space yeah. to be able to make it right. Correct. Right? Correct. People want to go out and promote things right out the gate, and, and they forget that, you know, you don't want to promote the wrong thing. Correct. If it's not right, Correct. You ain't going to get that time back. Correct. And no one's going to talk to you when you get it right. Yeah. So pick your time right. Yeah. Well, film, man. Film. Screen work. Yeah. Look at yeah. you, dude. Like, we've been sitting here, man, hanging off your every word for the last hour and 15 <laughs> minutes, man. I mean, you've definitely got the that thing. 
Thank you. that I think would work really well. And I and I know from the way that you perform and write with your friends that um, even though you tell real life stories that you know you understand the importance of character work. Mm -hmm. So it's not like that would be too far away from you. Mm -hmm. What's up, what's going oh, on? Oh, no, 24. Griselda Films is already a real thing. I know it's, it's a real, thing. I know. It's I know. already a real thing. Like, um, you know, we got conflicted on, you know, all the uh, uh, streaming spots. You know what I'm saying? Well, not all of them, but, you yeah. know, a few of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's doing its thing. It's a hood classic. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I feel like that's where we're, we're, we're heading to. You know what I'm saying? Without a shadow of a doubt, I think, like, film... It's the next big thing for me. Like, you know, the last month, maybe month and a half of me, like, promoting the album, once I put the date out there, people have been seeing me a lot more. Yeah. A lot more, a lot yeah, more, a yeah, lot yeah. more. And I always kind of been reserved. You know what I'm saying? I always, you know, love for Benny to do it. And I always loved for Conway to do it. And I always loved for, like, Armani to do it because she's beautiful. And I always wanted the world to see Armani. But, like, me... I always kind of wanted to, like, chill. It's like, if you know, you know. Like, you, I don't have to be on the scene. Like I said, I always approached it differently. I never made music for the money. I never said, hey, I need to be on the radio. I never said, hey, I needed to be in the club. I never had to, like, sell my soul in this shit. I never had to, you know, go out my comfort zone. I always been me in this, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, you know, now I'm just super blessed. You know, people starting to really take notice now that I've been pushing this album. And it's like, now that I'm here, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let, let me kind of show y'all why people been respecting West Side Gun for so long. Because some people just don't know. People, some, some people still think I'm just a third member of Griselda. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nobody like, thinks you're the nah, third member. No, they do. They do. I no, they do. I don't know they, they, that's, this that. is the internet. This is the internet uh, era. Yeah, but the thing you know? is, the thing is, right now, it's become really clear, and we've, we've, I think we've come to a really lovely circle in this particular conversation because it's really clear now that the legacy is established. It's perpetual in the sense it has momentum and can move forward. You don't have to carry it high behind the scenes and figure it all out and yeah. protect it and not let people do memes and all that sort yeah. of stuff. It's yeah. there. Yeah. So by not, by walking away from the traditional infrastructure that you helped establish, you can focus on your hibachi restaurant, yeah. focus on your film things, focus on all the other shit. It's so mm -hmm. obvious now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and like I said, the beautiful part about everything now is I'm just living free with it. You see what I'm saying? Like, I might sit front row at Monday Night Raw this Monday. You don't know where I'm going to be at because I'm just living. I might say, hey, I really want to go to uh, Boston and eat Abe and Louis and really go to Boston and eat Abe and Louis. Like, I'm just living. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just the like, dream. I'm that's just, the dream. I'm just living, and that's where the inspiration is coming from. I'm not even, no disrespect to other artists, but... I'm not listening to other artists to get inspiration. I'm yeah. not listening to nothing or nobody else is doing. I'm really just inspiring myself because I'm still a student and there's so much still to learn. So you're only going to keep getting better West Side Gun because I'm learning more every day. You just go to the airport, yeah. take a look at the departure board, pick a flight with a seat on it and go. I could. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm saying. It's, it it doesn't even matter anymore. It's just wherever my energy Whatever, whatever my heart is telling me right now, you know what I'm saying? I have a I have a beautiful family, a supporting family, and people also know I'm one of the guys who's going to take his family. So it's not like I'm just living this luxurious life and, and my family don't get to experience it. Like, no, they're experiencing as well. Of course, school is in, so they can't just move how they want to move. But, you know, right now I'm on a press run, you know, uh, they hit me last night like, hey, you, you want us to come out there Thursday night? But, you know, Pootie or Friday, Pootie can just leave half the day. Like, you know, um, it's all about family. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I think that's just, like I said, that's that's just uh, flowing into the music now, man, that you're just getting just a good energy um, before, like, again, you know, I just wanted to push Buffalo, 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 Buffalo. But now I feel we here now. Now I could push art. Now I could push family. 
you know, it's, it's just a different vibe. I could push fashion. I could push wrestling. I'm really just giving you me, you know what I'm saying? And um, because I'm here to inspire. You know, a lot of people nowadays just making music, but they're not inspiring shit. You know what I'm saying? They just give you this album and come out Friday. The hype be real. You 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 don't hear the you don't hear about the album after the second week it's out, and they they got their money and they already just partying to the next album. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm I mean I have a I have a a, a bigger mission right now. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,